Uh, I'm Dr. Nathaniel Ryan Krogel. I just uh, moved here uh, from Detroit, Michigan with uh, my wife and two children. I recently joined Blue Ridge Digestive Health. I received my medical training at uh, Lake Erie College of Osteopathic Medicine in Erie, Pennsylvania. Uh, finished my internal medicine residency and GI fellowship at Bossard Hospital in Farmington Hills, Michigan. Uh, I'm comfortable dealing with a lot of uh, gastrointestinal issues, anything you may come in from abdominal pain, reflux related issues, uh, things you're not usually comfortable talking about with uh, your friends, family, or your regular doctor. Uh, I am uh, trained in uh, EGDs, which are upper endoscopies, uh, colonoscopies, as well as uh, ERCPs, which deals with uh, uh, dealing with the biliary duct system, gallstones, and, and problems along that line. I really feel like you should have a close relationship with the patient. Uh, I feel if the patient's going to come see a gastro, they need to be able to be comfortable, approach you with a lot of different issues, and, uh, and feel comfortable in a regular dialogue. I feel like if you're going to have to go uh, see a gastroenterologist, you want to see somebody who uh, understands and is approachable and will you know, take the time to discuss issues that you're concerned with. I love the South. I love the terrain here. Uh, I grew up in Indiana and then moved to Detroit, and all those are the, those are great places for the time served. Uh, the, the people here are very nice, and there's so much to do outdoors. I felt like it was a great place to raise a family. There's a certain uh, a warm hospitality to the south and that's something that we've really enjoyed coming into. Uh, we're very happy to be at Blue Ridge in general and in terms of uh, my office uh, I believe I have two excellent partners Dr. Levinson and Dr. Moyes. Uh, they have been completely welcoming and they've also helped me with a lot of the questions I've had to uh, uh, to get up and running and you don't see that in a lot of places and so I'm very thankful that I was able to join a practice such as that. This is something we talk about all the time but uh, Preventative colonoscopies for uh, prevention of colon cancer is so important. The majority of colon cancers develop over many years, uh, on average being about 10 years. So if we can get you in the door when our recommendations uh, are placed and we can uh, uh, perform the required uh, procedures, you know, including pre uh, screening colonoscopies and then subsequent surveillance based on what we find, uh, the whole idea is to you know, prevent something that uh, is serious. Uh, a reason I think I believe patients are uh, hesitant to undergo a screening colonoscopy or subsequent is just based on the fact of uh, the stigma around it. Uh, they have to uh, take a preparation which may be unpleasant. Uh, they, may be, they may have fears of anesthesia being put to sleep. And it's always uh, uh, good after the procedure when they wake up and they, they say this was a lot better than I expected. The majority of colon cancers, and over 90% occur after the age of 50 um, and that's why we really uh, recommend starting at age 50. Uh, and the vast majority, they take time to develop from uh, being a polyp to uh, developing precancerous changes and finally cancer. On average, this takes 10 years. So if we can get you in the door, even if it's a few years late, then, then we're doing our job and uh, maybe preventing something that could occur 10 years down the road. Uh, patients who should be screened, uh, we recommend average risk individuals beginning at age 50. African Americans at the age of 45. If there's a family history, that will uh, change screening guidelines and uh, then it should be either at age 40 or 10 years earlier than when your family was diagnosed with colon cancer. Uh, what we were taught the most is, is uh, encompassing the patient as a whole patient, looking at the entirety and not just a specific diagnosis or illness or complaint, uh, but looking at the patient as a whole and discussing all those relevant issues, whether it be your specific field or uh, something that may be playing into that.